What's going on guys? We are back once again and we are going to be talking about some more Loki today. We're going to be finally talking about episode 2. So if you guys have not seen episode 2, click off the video, go check it out. I know I'm going to say this so that way you guys are aware because again we're going to be getting into spoilers. We're going to be getting into theories. But again, if you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know what you guys thought because again, Loki is getting more and just more awesome every single time that I'm watching it because in this episode they finally figure out what's going on because again more of the uh, TVA teams are getting attacked and when they do Loki is pretty much like an assistant and, and the vibe I'm getting off of this is like where it's like a cop show the way the way they're doing this is like a cop show mixed with like how they do on Lucifer if you guys watch Lucifer we see where uh, he's a uh, assistant for the LAPD and this is pretty much the vibes I was getting because we have where Loki's sitting at a desk and he's talking to Miss Menace and she's going over everything which is voiced by Tara Strong amazing actress love her and uh, he starts having issues, and then uh, we see where Mobius is like, okay, we gotta go. So they, he advises him, okay, I'm gonna take him in the field so I can give him some uh, possible information. But then Loki does what he normally does, giving them information when he wants to, playing tricks, and kind of using his own narrative. And then they finally realize, okay, Loki was just playing them so he could just mess around. Well, again, at the very end, we do see where Loki was right, which I'm gonna get into. But... They're unsure about why they need him. There's not really a precise reason of why Loki is needed because we have where the head the TVA and among the guards that arrested Loki is like, okay, we don't need him. We're able to find him on our own. There's no need. And he even says, look, you're going to need me. No matter what happens, you're going to need me. So what's pretty cool about this is we have where Loki keeps going after the time variant so he has where Mobius tells him okay go over all these records if there's anything that looks suspicious let me know so we do see where he starts going over everything and then he looks at what happened in Ragnarok obviously he gets very emotional because again all his people his his family his brother so we have what's really interesting is he finally figures it out what this uh, other Loki is doing because again he sees all the other Lokis in the uh, time variant where they're showing him other Lokis that they've gone up against. You know, ones that look different, ones that are bigger, smaller, skinnier, uh, whatever, more muscular, look different. And he, and, and again, this was it was so comical. There was a lot of comedy in this episode. Again, Tom Hiddleston mixed with Owen Wilson really killed it in this episode. And. We see where he explains to him that the variant is living in different variations of apocalypse. And he says if you do anything in there that is going to cause a variant, it won't matter because it's just going to destroy it anyway. So it's not going to matter. So they do get it kind of after doing some research, finding what happened, where this possible other bubble gum that is from or candy that was from in the... Um, uh, in the previous episode where Mobius is like wait a minute and he starts looking and he's like wait a minute and then he starts looking to where like okay let's find where this Loki possibly is and then once he starts looking into more possibilities of what's going on he finally realizes hey guess what we, we may actually know where he is after doing some research he was in Al this variant is in Alabama to uh, 2050 at a uh, hurricane area so they're able to finally get a team go in and then after having some issues Loki finally comes face to face with a version of himself because this uh, variant is able to use their powers to go into someone else's mind telekinesis slash you know like kind of controlling and when that happens we see where he goes into 
just talking like, hey, you know, and, and kind of playing to himself in, in a way. Like, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And he b informs this form, or this form of Loki, hey, I'm going to take over the time variant and I can use a partner. And pl kind of playing his strengths like we know Loki is. You know, we really don't know if he actually means it or if he's just playing around or if he's just, like, being serious. So he doesn't really know. So he starts talking to this Loki and the other Loki saying that – I don't care. I don't need. I don't want to be in the time barrier. I just want it gone, and I have my own needs. And they won't tell them exactly what exactly the plan is. All that is being stated is that they just want to cause chaos. And then, as soon as beating up Loki, Loki's like, "Okay, look, I've had enough." And after finally going after Toto -to -to with himself and other people, he finally has enough. And then it gets realized, "Hey, guess what? This is." not the ordinary plan something else is going on and we see where the other loki comes face to face and it is a female loki now again i don't know too much about the female loki so i'm going to get a little more into it about this is the villain of of uh the loki series which again is going to be pretty interesting and he's kind of shocked because she says it ain't about you so obviously it could be probably maybe trying to bring back Asgard or trying to do something to where if Asgard was meant to be destroyed that she slash he, you know, Loki is trying to, uh, both versions or, or any version is trying to save Asgard. So we do have where after going over whatever that this Loki is trying to do, we see where Loki finally uh, is able to unlock portals and is going somewhere and Mobius is trying to get the team to go after Loki and when as soon as Loki is able to finally get his version of himself they just finally she leaves and she just kind of looks at him and he made a choice to go after her so it's really interesting of where exactly they're going to go and if Loki is still going to be faithful to Mobius uh, to, for helping the TVA or he's going to be doing something else but again this episode was very interesting it was funny it was charismatic again the, the where they go to Pompeii was extremely hilarious uh, I was laughing pretty hard on that one, but again, I think that with the way they're doing it, and obviously Loki being one of those characters you can't help but just love and laugh and, and also feel sorry for, because again, you see a lot of pain in him where he does not want to become the bad guy, and he says something very interesting, which I'll get to in a minute, but after seeing you know, his people die, seeing over 9,000 and more casualties that did die and only a certain amount did survive Asgard, he makes a comment where after Mobius called him, you know, he says, I don't know if it's, you know, the scared little kid out in the snow or if I'm just saying whatever I want to make make it work. So it's interesting because Loki even says that he called me a child. He says, but that's wrong. He says, I actually know more than a child. He says, well, what do you mean? He says, not all bad people are good and not all good, not all good people are actually good. So it does make sense where good people are going to make bad choices and bad people are going to make good choices and you know reverse psychology so it's really cool how they put that in there how loki is saying yeah i may be a bad guy but i'm not fully bad i do care so it's going to be really interesting to see what the series is going to be taking um i'm very interested to see how further it's going to go but either way i'm very excited about this can't wait to see next week's episode but let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comments down below if you guys are new channel subscribe and leave a big fat like on the video i greatly appreciate it helps you see the algorithm also click notifications so you guys are notified every time i upload and as always I'll see you guys on the next one